What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective C Tutorials Lesson 6, Pointers. Now, pointers, what are they? Well, let's say we have this variable, an integer. Uh, of course, it is an integer. And 24, that is its address in memory. Because all variables have an address in the computer's memory. So let's just say this one is 24. And it has a value of 157. So we have 157 living in a house, which is called an integer, on 24th memory lane. Now we also have another variable, an int pointer, which wants to get access to an integer. So to get access to it, it has to know its address. So it wants to get its address, which is 24. And then once it has that address, it can get the value 157, which is an int integer. So how would you do this in code? Well, right there. int asterisk and int pointer equals and sign and integer. So the asterisk tells the compiler that this is that this type is a pointer to an int or float instead of an actual int or float. And the and sign tells the compiler you want an int pointer initialized with the address of an integer. Now, it's great that you have the uh, location in memory from one variable transferred to another variable, but it doesn't really help you out. You know, it's not very that it's not very practical. So how do you go from the address of an integer to the actual value? Well, you use the deference operator, and it is that asterisk. Now, you can also use the little arrow sign, but it is used only with pointers to objects as well as structs, but you don't have to use that arrow. And we will be using pointers a lot when we start in with objects, and that's one of the things that I didn't really understand when I was going through an iPhone programming book uh, about a year ago because it had uh, it kind of assumed the knowledge of Objective C to some extent and so there's all these asterisks before all these objects and stuff and I didn't really understand why they're why they're there but anyways that's it for this lesson now we're gonna go into Xcode and actually code some pointers okay here in Xcode you can just delete what we typed last lesson and really this will just kind of be basically what um, I showed you in Keynote, but I will be showing you a few more things. So first, start off with the integer and integer, and then assign the value 50 to it, or whatever you really want, doesn't matter. Another integer, um, remember the, this will be the uh, pointer, so put in that asterisk, and int pointer equals, then the and sign, so it's the value of an integer close it off and then ns log and integer equals percent i if well, double quotes comma and integer ns log then the pointer and int pointer equals percent i asterisk and int pointer another ns log and this one I'm just gonna kinda test out what happens if we just do an int pointer equals percent i so if I forget the asterisk wonder what might happen and int pointer and then if we do another ns log and let's say we do the an integer equals percent i but we have the and sign in front of it and integer okay now build and run save all and while it's building let me just first off go and tell you right now you really wouldn't have to do all this uh, pointer stuff. You could basically just assign an integer, or you could assign a, 
yeah, an integer to an int pointer, and the value would still be the same. You wouldn't have to do the asterisk and the and sign. But it's just to get you familiar with the pointer structure. So that's why we're doing it. But anyways, um, here we see an int or an integer spelled that wrong sorry guys can't be perfect all the time uh, <laughs> equals 50 of course because we did assign the value um, when we declared it and then we have our pointer and int pointer equals 50 so we took the value or we took the memory um, the location in memory right here put it in here and then when we add, uh, displayed it we use that asterisk the deference operator to display the value so you say well what if you just did an and pointer without the deference operator what would happen well it would actually display I'm pretty sure that's the location in memory because the uh, it's the same exact number as the one with the and sign so that's what happens if you don't use the deference operator when you are outputting it so like I said earlier you wouldn't have to use all this syntax of the pointer right now but it's just to get you familiar with it and I know this is an in-depth uh, tutorial on pointers but it's just kinda to get you familiar with it get your foot in the door so when we do talk about objects and pointers you know what to set up what's going on and everything so anyways the next tutorial I have is on constants and then after that kind of a wrap up over all the stuff we've been talking about in the past few lessons and then we'll be heading into object-oriented programming so some great stuff coming up please subscribe